Hey there guys, it's JT here and welcome back to Horror Wednesday and the game today is Keyhole by Ahmed K. Kles. This is an interactive horror story so it is mostly narrative and uh, maybe choices to change the path of the story. So the game is basically you will try to scare us by telling us a very creepy story or maybe um, some um, jump scare or scare pictures. I'm gonna try my best to narrate this game for you guys. So, as a practice, hello there, everybody. My name is Markiplier. Welcome back. <laughs> Was that good? I don't know. <laughs> Let's play the game. Developer's note This time, this is not an original Amit K. Kles story. I adapted the famous anonymous story into a game, interactive horror story to be exact. I hope you like the result, Amit. JT presents the keyhole. As a man in his 30s, you occasionally have business trips. You don't like being far away from home, but your boss and job force you to travel around the world. You are an engineer. You wish your work consisted of sitting in your comfortable office and solving problems, not going to faraway places. This time, you need to attend a seminar in a different country. It will take one day. The seminar ends at evenings, but you need to spend time with your colleagues after the evening. You hate networking, especially when it is out of shift hours. It is a boring city. Well, it is modern, but it is too gray. Both literally and non-literally. The buildings are gray and you feel no color in the geist of the city. Everything seems to be about money and order here. You arrive at your hotel at midnight after a tiring day. Remember that room 104 is prepared for you. All you want to do is take off your shoes, wear something comfortable, and put your head on the pillow. Like I always want to every day. <laughs> like the city, the hotel looks boring too. It's an old wooden building with three stories. Stories. The furniture looks classy, but they show their age. You had seen better hotels. At the entrance, the receptionist woman notices you. She is a young woman with short black hair. She wears a smart suit with a white collar. She is behind a CRT computer screen. There are keys behind her. How may I help you, sir? Alright, so like I said, there will be choices. But this time, there's only one. So say your name and show your ID. I have a reservation. I am checking in. She says before turning her face back to the computer screen, after a few clicks, she stands up and walks to the keys. Here, the key for room 104. She hands you the key. Yes, not a magnetic smart card. Apparently, you will find a security in the old-fashioned ways. Eh, at least they use computers for checking in people anyway. Sir, as our policy, I need to warn you about a matter. Um, sure. You might hear some noises from room 103. Actually, it's not room 103 anymore, because we removed the numbers from the door, so it's a room without a number. Anyway, no matter what you hear, please don't try to open the door or look through the keyhole. I hope you show consideration for our policy. Okay, we have three choices. Number one is, I'm gonna uh, listen. Number two is, I'm gonna ask. Number three is, uh, I'm gonna be mad. Let's, let's, let's ask. Let me say that we have a special guest there. She wishes to be undisturbed. Oh, okay. So there is a special guest. Um, let's get mad. Do I look like someone who intrudes in other people's room? Oh no, we don't look like that way. But behind every strict hotel rules, unexperienced lies. I'm sorry if that is my girl voice. That is all I can do. <laughs> okay, I said okay, good night, thank you. She smiles. Thank you for cre- uh. Let's do that again. Thank you for your consideration. Have a good night too. Let's climb the stairs. Whoa. Whoa, someone's crying. Okay, let's just read. You climb the stairs. You are on the first floor of the hotel. The entrance is zero in this country. There are wooden doors of rooms from 101 to 108. The numbers are put on the doors except for room 103. It's on your left. You hear a woman cry. The sound comes from the room without number. Ooh. Every time someone says don't do something, there will always be that someone that's still gonna do it. And I am that someone. You're in the front of the room without number. Number one is leave, open the door, 
knock on the door, pick through the keyhole. Well, the game is keyhole. The music just stopped. That's why I stopped. <laughs> so I'm gonna pick through the heel keyhole. Oh, hello. Is that a still picture? Oh, it is a still picture. Is she is she looking back, or or facing me and like that? I don't know. Drag your mouse to look. Okay, that's what I'm doing. Whoa! What happened to her arms? For some reason, the pure white woman stopped crying when you had started looking through the keyhole. She stood there and motionless. Okay, I'm sorry. My my narrator voice changed because I <laughs> yeah now you hear footsteps coming through the door coming towards the door should I whoa what is this why is it all red what will you do now oh it's all red again what is that why there's a like a figure or something oh the girl is standing on the keyhole uh, I think we're gonna leave Go to your own room wondering about the woman in that forbidden room. It is hard to fall asleep despite how tired you are. It's morning now. You got yourself prepared for getting out of the hotel and going to the airport. When you're about to leave the hotel, you see the receptionist woman at the entrance of the hotel. She looks quite angry. Sir, I need to talk to you about something. Maybe, maybe it is the receptionist. Oh, I asked you not to go to that room, but you did. Uh, sorry, but who was she? I'm not supposed to give you this information, but I, but I personally want you to feel bad. A few years ago, a single woman was staying in that room. She came here alone. She was raped and killed by another guest of the hotel, a drunk man. Her ghost haunts the room since she's murdered, but nobody saw her while she was moving. Apparently, she stops moving when someone sees her. Oh. She is all white, as you also have seen. Every part of her body is white, except for her eyes. Her eyes are all red. Um, so that is the scary surprise that the red thing on the keyhole, when you look at it, is her eyes. Okay, so yeah. So that is Keyhole, everybody. Um, I hope I gave a good narration on the story. Like I said a while ago, I was ready to complain that there is no music or nothing, no sound at all, but then um, the game just proved me wrong. Yeah, so it's really bad to judge a book by its cover. Well, I was, um, I, I searched about this. It, this is like a creepypasta, I think. I think that is why the developer said that this is not his own story um, i like giving um comments and suggestion to the game so i'm gonna give you this one the thing is the background picture is just still like that there's just the door maybe change the background music every time um the story indicates something like you went to the receptionist something like that but don't worry i already did that on this video you know that that adds more um quality of the horror experience the horror feel that the picture also changes not just the not just the the words in the story i know that horror games um i know that horror games rely on on sounds but you know it is more better if um the visual is there too good visual you know that is all i wanted to say about this game it's good I like the story the music that's all yeah, so thank you guys for watching. That is the keyhole. Please do leave a like if you like this video and comment down below what you think about this game. About how I narrated the game. That I did good. My voice. So good. Right, punk? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, and subscribe for more. And yes, there will be more videos like this to come. So, thanks again guys and salamat. I'll see you next Wednesday on Horror Wednesday. This is JT signing off.